All right, we are back. We are on to our second segment, which is a recurring segment. We call it Social Media Fails. This time it is Brown, Superintendent Brown style. God, does he love failing. Remember when I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this will be a common theme. He is about propaganda. And to some extent in pushing media narratives, manipulating the media and pushing, using data to manipulate the story around what his departments are doing. He did it in Dallas. He's doing it in Chicago now. Also, Lori Lightfoot is doing the same thing. And she's um, aiding and abetting on this gun possession push. They can't let it go. Same thing with the bond reform and the judges. They can't let it go. So here is a tweet by the superintendent. And he's just talking about how guns in the wrong people's hands are the problem. And yes, he's not wrong, ladies and gentlemen. But, 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 and there's always a but here in this work. And this is still his continuation. We talked about it last show, which is they are pushing back on the narrative that Kim Fox, using data, by the way, data, data, analyzed and saw like, wow, gun possession arrests in Chicago have skyrocketed. Okay. Since 2013, there's no evidence that's made any difference in crime or violence levels. Also, most of the people they arrest have no convictions on their records. They're not just a system involved. Uh Uh-oh. Only 20% of the guns that they've been recovered through all those arrests, and they've like tripled. They went from 300 to I think they're going to be 1,400 this coming year or maybe higher in 2021. Only 20% of them trace back to a crime. Now, if you think about that 20% number, it's 280. In 2013, they made 300 arrests for gun possession. Now they're going to be up to like 1,400 or more. So wait a minute, what's going on here? Part of this, maybe more people are carrying guns. But what happened to we target the shooters? We're going after shooters. We're using data and research methods to figure out who's likely to be shot or be the shooter, and we're going after those people. This doesn't look like that. This looks like arrest anyone you possibly can. Use any reason you can to search someone. Hopefully they've got a gun. They do. You got your star. I don't see evidence that suggests that this is affecting the crime rates in Chicago. At the same time, Fox also was able to prove, at the same time, these gun possession arrests have skyrocketed, You know what's dropped? The rate at which they arrest, they make an arrest for a shooting. Right? I mean, does that make any sense? Well, we're arresting people with guns left and right. We're just not arresting people who have, you know, that have done shootings that we're responding to. The reality is, to some extent, this is propaganda in that the department doesn't isn't really capable of having a huge impact on gun violence. Not in ways that would make it constitutional, let's say. But just like with the gun seizure numbers and the gun possession numbers, now they moved on to that too. The more they churn those numbers, the better the mayor and the pilot, and the alderman and the city council, I mean, in the police department look and Superintendent Brown looks. Why do I care if you're making more gun possession arrests? How about just arrest more shooters? Shouldn't that be your job? At the same time, they're pushing this as trying to get make it a violent crime. See the manipulations going on? Arrest the shooters. Why is the rate at which you arrest people who do shootings plummeted? What the hell is going on? Remember, 20 and 21 are such bad years. Although 20 was less bad than 16 was. They don't tell you that. But also remember, if you look at it, the less there's a correlation of gun possession arrests with increases in crime. Check that one out. Now, as we've said on the show many times, and will a million times, correlation does not ease equal causation. I'm not saying one caused the other. But it's an interesting correlation that should be researched. It could very well be that at the same time gun possession arrests skyrocketed, they have plummeted in arresting the actual shooters. 
hashtag fail as far as I'm concerned. There's, that's, a, that's a problem. Um, Dallas reporters, I talked to Dallas reporters. Once I knew Brown was uh, Lightfoot's choice, I did some work that the Chicago media didn't do, and they told me what to watch out for. They knew the con job was coming. He likes manipulating stuff. He likes manipulating data. He likes manipulating the media. He doesn't like the media. He's going to like us less in about six or eight weeks when we drop a huge story on him. Done a lot of research on Mr. Brown and something that has not hit the public in Chicago. We have it in CJP. So we'll keep an eye on it. We're going to look more into the um, what Fox has talked about with the gun, the sh being able to close what is called closed by police department and police lingo, um, the rate at which they close shootings. And if that is actually plummeted the way they say it has, that to me is a really huge fail for the department. It's something that really needs to be looked into and pushed back against the mayor and the superintendent.